Maybe we'll shoot that again. <laughs> I discovered this process in second year. I tried to push the boundaries a little bit, so I ran on to the potters. Uh, department and got like a potter's wheel and brought it back up and started spinning uh, the canvas around uh, with this new kind of body of work I've uh, developed instead of it's just a spin painting it's it's now spin and spin painting where the, the, the painting is rotating. So the idea for this show was that I had a few uh, videos that uh, went viral this year and so I was inspired by the both the positive and negative energy that I was getting, a lot of comments online. I've gotten like a couple million views. These are kind of like compilation of like the most popular comments. So like this, this one, like, you know, at the top, this is an art, a five-year-old could do that. Maybe the people that are saying that, they're not doing art in their, or, or creative stuff in their day-to-day -day practice. So the way that they maybe relate to it is that maybe the last time they made art was when they were a kid. And so they're kind of thinking, part of being an artist is to maintain like, I think like a childlike wonder about the world, you know? And, and you know, paint does that really well because it's you know, vibrant different colors and, you know, abstract art is a little bit of a dance and the, you know, these like simple machines is like, you know, I'm essentially like playing with it. You know, it's, it's, a, it's adult play. <laughs> I think something clicks for the audience. They see the process. They see why I do it. Like I, I'm very interested in the process and getting my, you know, hands dirty and pants dirty and you know, being covered in paint. And that kind of helps me like, get into the zone, both both like mentally and physically. And the live performance uh, is really uh, an opportunity to like share my story, share my process. People get excited, and that in turn reinvigorates my creative process.